I'm not just gonna sit and watch another innocent person die. If you track Michael's victim to Michael's childhood home. What do we do? We fight. Let's hunt him down. The latest in the Halloween franchise is a box office hit. The last weekend, Halloween Kills took in over $90 million worldwide. That puts the Halloween universe that began more than 40 years ago at $709 million overall. And there are remastered versions of a few of the franchise favorites that'll be playing in theaters in the Chicago area for this week. The executive producer of the Halloween franchise, Ryan Freeman, joins us right now. Ryan, hello there, and congratulations on all the box office success. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's uh, very exciting stuff. Even though you've got something that's, uh, you know, such a, a major hit for which people uh, anticipate, are, are you sitting on pins and needles waiting for the box office uh, numbers to come in to see what kind of, uh, you know, damage that uh, Jamie right. Lee Curtis and Michael Myers can <laughs> still do out there? Of course. I mean, I think to some extent it's an indicator of uh, how well received the film is and how excited the fans are for it. But that that we never have any doubt for. I mean, we see the, the fans for this film are like none other and uh, are, are such so supportive of all of the films in the franchise, but especially its most recent one. When you uh, approach doing a, another film in this franchise, for, you know, for which we've all been following, uh, you know, for 40 years now. How do you approach this? I mean, every every movie, Michael seems to be dead at the end of it. Every <laughs> next movie, he seems he definitely comes back again. How do, how do you approach just developing plot lines for all of this? Somewhat. I mean, this current incarnation of the films is a three-part trilogy that literally picks up at the end of the original 1978 film. So it kind of disregarded everything in between. So if you had only seen the original film, these most recent two that are out, Halloween 2018 and Halloween Kills, uh, that's all you would really need to see. And, and the rest of it is kind of set aside. So when we approach this, it's kind of like, what's something new or fresh? Or how can there be a new, even from a director's perspective, is there a fresh take on characters that we know and, and to some extent love? You know, I, I always ask uh, the question of directors, producers, actors of this genre, what is it that is so attractive about people? I mean, they cannot wait to get to the theaters to be scared to death. They, they just love that. Yeah, I think it's a it's a feeling like no other. It's no it's no different than if you find a comedy that really makes you laugh from deep down in your gut. Uh, I think being scared, uh, having that uh, emotional reaction is, is something that's unlike anything else. Now, uh, some of the other movies are going to be playing uh, in theaters. Can you talk a little bit about oh, yeah. that, the people who uh, you know want to go enjoy some of the classics? Absolutely. I think that with each year, we see more and more fans uh, find this franchise. And uh, having the opportunity to go back to the theater to see, to some extent, how they were, were originally released and actually enjoy them with an audience, some of whom may be seeing it for the first time as well, uh, it's a really cool and unique experience. So all the films are, that were coming out, Halloween 78, Halloween 4, Halloween 5, those ones are in theaters again. They've all been remastered. Great picture, amazing sound. Uh, so it's kind of one of those experiences to go out and do something different during a season that's becoming increasingly popular. Yeah, and we're going to get some more Michael Myers, right, next year? Isn't there a, planned, another yes. Halloween uh, film that's planned to come out then? Halloween Ends, which will be the third part in this trilogy, we plan to go shoot uh, at the end of January. Look forward to that. Halloween Kills, as we've been uh, reporting, is in theaters now. The remastered Halloween films playing throughout the Chicago area all weekend long. You can check out uh, scenelifeentertainment.com to get more information. Thank you so much for joining us. Nice to talk to you this morning. Thanks so much for having me. Take a quick break and be right back for the list. Stick around.